Battlefield 24-2 will see Battlefield's portal mode come to the game. And this is going to be great because we're going to be able to recreate all our favorite Battlefield experiences on previous games. Take this montage of clips in Battlefield 3 that you see on the screen ahead of you now. This is one of the most iconic, fun, and never gets boring kind of game modes for me. Noshia Canals TDM on Battlefield 3. You could use any weapon you want, any, you could, any, any play style was viable. You could rush, you could camp, you could flank, you could snipe, LMG, shotgun, assault rifle, SMG, you name it, you could do it. This, get, this map was so fun, so chaotic, but yet so awesome, and it never got boring. And Oh man, just the memories of this map. And then another one I'd love to see recreated is Operation Metro Rush Mode. I mean, I mentioned in yesterday's video that I would be, that I would, you know, come to the right hand side corridor of the third area in that map and just lay down my Type 88 LMG and just mow people down. It was amazing so fun and i would love to see that recreated in 2042 hell i might even host my own service and it's a guaranteed australian server and then i've got all my settings that i could ever want to control right there for me and that is very exciting another thing is i'd like to see caspian border uh conquest mode recreated as i love this map i loved everything about it there's so many fun things to do on Caspian Border, the jet flying, the helicopters, the tanks, <coughs> everything. Even some armored kill game modes, I'd be very excited to do it. Even, even close quarter DLC game modes too, like uh, Gunmaster, Domination, Conquest Domination for some Call of Duty style gameplay on those amazing close quarter maps with the amazing weapons. I'd love to see that. I, I, I'm the, the possibilities are ultimately endless. For portal mode and this is going to be great for us because you know we can't play our ferret battlefield games anymore our ferret game modes anymore because battlefield 3 is dead for me i was lucky to find this game but it's a sadly a 200 ping lobby so i'm lagging my ass off the whole time but i still had a blast and i was playing on my laptop as well and my laptop isn't as powerful as my desktop it's only it's got a laptop 1060 graphics card in it and it's got a it's got an i7 as well and 16 gigabytes of ram so it's almost as powerful as my as my main system here it's just got only 60 frames versus 144 frames and my graphics card and my processor are a lot more powerful than my um laptop's processor and graphics card but other than that it was a fantastic experience and i had a blast and it was really fun just to you know edit the all the kill pretty much most of the kills i got it was about originally a it ended up being like a 40, 50 minute game and I only recorded like 17 minutes of it and chopped it down to only the parts where I get kills. So that's why you might be seeing the gameplay being really short and uh, it was really laggy, but still really, really fun and I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say really in this commentary. I think next time, next commentary, we're going to be talking about some Call of Duty Vanguard just before it comes out. I did buy it. I am going to be playing it, I am going to be making videos on it, and based on everything I've seen and heard, and uh, I've kind of put all my doubts aside, I'm going to come into it with a fresh mind, and just give it a chance, and see if I like it or not, and uh, hopefully it copies everything right that Modern Warfare did, and everything right that Cold War did, it kind of meshes them together to be a game that both Modern Warfare fans and Cold War fans can enjoy, because... We want a successful Call of Duty. We want a fun, memorable, and just an amazing game experience. Because that's what we play games, right? But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts and what type of Battlefield game modes you'd like to see recreated in 2042. And hopefully we can find some servers for that. And uh, tell me about Vanguard. Did you eventually pick up Vanguard or are you going to leave it sitting on the sidelines? Until then, guys, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Stay metal. And beware of false pro-